Pop, time to pick America's Sexiest Woman. That's right, Esquire magazine has named Academy Award winning actress Penelope Cruz the sexiest woman alive. She's the 11th woman to hold the title and follows in the footsteps of previous winners like Scarlett Johansson, Mila Kunis, and Rihanna. The 40-year-old Spanish actress is married to fellow actor Javier Bardem. They are parents to two young children, and it's hard to believe she's a mother with the sexy photos in the magazine. So I encourage you to get to your newsstands and get yourself a copy today. Now, <clears throat> moving on to our next story. In what seems to be my favorite topic to discuss ever, award season has begun, and congratulations are in order. Australian rapper Iggy Azalea tops this year's list of America's Music Awards nominees with six nominations, including Artist of the Year, New Artist of the Year, and Single of the Year for Fancy, which is not, which is not too bad for someone who's never even been nominated for an AMA before. Now, other artists to receive nominations are John Legend, Katy Perry, and Pharrell Williams, each receiving five nominations. And surprisingly, Beyonce's only nominated three times this year, as are Eminem, uh, Imagine Dragons, One Republic, and One Direction, Bastille, Drake, Luke Ryan, and Sam Smith, each receiving two nominations. So make sure to set that DVR as the AMS will broadcast live on ABC November 23rd from the Nokia Theater in LA starting at 8 p.m. And wrapping it up, uh, Hollywood news, something you have to go see is Gone Girl, which continues to dominate the box office at number one for the second week in a row. The thriller has made a total estimated gross of $78 million thus far, and I'm happy to say I contributed to that gross myself. I checked out the movie this past Thursday and was shocked at what was the best written film I have seen so far. I thoroughly recommend it. However, the ultimate question is, Will it live up to the Oscar buzz that it has been so talked about in the media? The film has received uh, great reviews with great critic ravings but uh, in the tone of the film, including Ben Affleck's performance. However, it is an extremely dark film and also falls into a category that the Academy likes to avoid when nominating Best Picture nominees, so we will have to see. But for more entertainment news, follow The Hollywood View TV on Twitter. But Catherine, I do have to ask you, you saw the thriller this morning and yeah, you, you got chills. Me. I did. So are you going to go check it out now that I, I wasn't gonna kind see of enticed it you? <laughs> I hadn't really seen the trailer. I hadn't heard much buzz about it. And you showed me it this morning before we got ready no, for No, you were like, ah, you it have to go crazy. see it. It was crazy. I, I have it. to go see it now. You didn't even, like, the, I can't give it away, but the ending was just like, Mouth dropping, we all were like, no way. And we so left like, there like scared. I was like, it definitely like threw you for a loop. It yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. You yeah, you have to. I thoroughly recommend it. Best seven dollars right here at the Oswego Cinema Zone. All right, thank absolutely. you. All right, no problem. After the break, we'll take one final look at your forecast with Jack Durkin. Stay tuned. You're watching Top in the Morning.